just pulled out here to see if they're on this. <gasps> oh, look what I just did. I hear something. I see something. Hear the screen. It's Gertie. Gertie's coming to get blown off a little more so she can get worked on. Yeah. Everybody say hi, Gertie. I fully expect that you just said hi, Gertie. Gertie's getting cleaned up. That hat gets hung everywhere. Are you ready, Gertie? Are you ready to go again? I'm talking to her like she's alive. But she is. Clara, what do you say? What do you say? Pet me. Just pet me. Oh, don't forget me, Mom. Hey, Gus. I see you. You're wet. being a bad girl. For some reason, she's trying to dig a hole to China. She's done that, y'all. I figured that's where her collars keep going, but we can't find them. We took the mail detector. I don't know why place. she's doing that, though. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie's hiding now. She knows she's in trouble. Where'd you go, Bon? Is she under the porch? Yes. <laughs> Bonnie, what are you doing? Why why all the digging? Hmm? What's the point? What's the point in all that? Hmm? Mm-mm. -mm. Worse than a kid. Yes, we have a tent on our porch. Because two children spent the night in it. Three, two nights in a row? One night. One night. Three nights. Two nights out there and one night here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Bonnie. 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 Wait, there's dogs out here. I gotta go pick up the farmer, but there's dogs and I don't want them to follow me. Come on. I gotta go pick. Where are you going? I gotta go pick up Daddy at the barn. Okay. Right. Where's Gus? Oh, uh, he isn't out. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, he is. On the way. No. Okay, we have a missing dog. Take these two with me, I suppose. Yeah? I can't see him. This farm wife Uber service in full swing today. Can I go? I gotta go pick up daddy. Okay. There we go. Trying to get her in. Trying to get her back under shelter. What are you doing? Playing. What are you doing? It's a bouncy seat. All right. They want to go with him. She wants to go with me. He just needed some eyes to get her backed in there. And when the weather is right, the best way to end the day and eat supper is this right here. It's our favorite place to eat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Daddy doesn't know what a coaster is. I do. If something goes down a hill without a motor. A coaster is something that goes down the hill without a motor. Okay. <laughs> Happy supper. My truck. There. It was making a, it was making a weird noise. I stopped it now. 
Okay, y'all, what we have here is a very rainy day. Crazy hair. Look over here. Um, I believe Lawrence is working on Gertie, so I'm going to check that out. It's been a crazy day. It's been a crazy couple days here. Just, I don't know, like things going on and can't get it all done kind of thing. Kind of feels like that way a lot. But anyway, I've been gone all afternoon, so I don't know what I've missed. It is also supper time, but I'm going to check on him first and see what's going on. And then they get the rest of the stuff done. Oh, the rain, y'all. We're getting more rain. Rain, rain, rain. We have storms rolling in and some wind, some windage. Gonna use that word again. Off on the morning mouse hunt. <laughs> Whew, it's a little, it's a little nippy on the hill. Well, it finally feels like, well, it feels, definitely feels like fall. It really feels like winter. It dropped 30 degrees overnight. <laughs> But it's a beautiful day. Let's do this. Oh, how much so? Fill her up. First day of November. Feels like, wait for it, November. It's <laughs> a novel idea. Ooh. Hey, girls. Wow, we got another eight. Six tenths or eight tenths of rain. Well, my dogs. Breakfast is coming. I bet I'm gonna have to get out and dump a trough too. Let's see. Unless they drink it. Ooh. Ooh, got a little mud, don't we, girls? Yeah, y'all actually. I don't know. They're drinking it or what, but. not full so that's good Are you hungry coming all right to it yes it's cold but it's like a crisp I can breathe fresh air let you know you're alive kind of cool I'll take that They said they would take some breakfast. So, that's what we'll do. Hey, Panda. Heard them up, move them out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, the horn on this thing sounds sick. I know. Come on. Wanna go check cows? Totally excited. Morning check. They tend to be over here in the mornings, don't they? It's kind of funny how they kind of go to the same places every day, same times. Well, kind of, right? 
Pocket of sun. Feels good. Aw. Hey, girls. You having a good morning? Good. Silas feeding time. I decided to wait here in the sunshine while he went to get the first load. But I hear them coming. Man, it's a beauty day. Here comes my chariot. My farmer knight. <laughs> I got a smile. Mud, 
and mud. Decided I would just wait. You just gotta do this group and then I'll go back and get another load and we'll go out and do the old cows. So we have two children at home sick with pretty bad colds. So mom took over duty for today. <laughs> we'll take turns. My son will get plenty of opportunities to do this this winter and it's a pretty day. So he's given a little bit to the calves that we feed every morning. So, explicit instructions. Not let these guys through here till he's finished with these guys. Cause I didn't close that other gate up there. See, gate bossing is really important. It's a very important job. I mean, it really is. It's not just opening and closing, but it's guarding. It's guarding the gate sometimes. And I've been known to not pay attention very well and let things slip by. I'm not gonna do that today. Nope. They are not coming anyway. Y'all know you got silage. You got silage. All right, that fill up is over and these girls did not even think about coming up. I hope they come get it. I mean, they will. Alright. Mm. This one's hard to yeah. do it like that. Let's see. How do I do this? Every gate is different. More gate boss rules. Leave them like you found them, but you gotta remember how you found them. That can be tricky. Takes practice, y'all. Load, no, you wanna get another load? I'll just wait. Okay. y'all. I think I've decided I'm gonna get a GoPro. I'm gonna wait and see if they go on sale around Thanksgiving and I'm gonna try it. And then I'm gonna strap it here on my head and look like a coal miner. I mean not really but whatever and see how that goes. Also since it's warming up a little bit and since I got something in the mail today that I just ordered I'm gonna show y'all. I hope y'all like this. I had this idea, I've had this idea in my head for several years to have a farm logo. And I knew what I wanted, but I never just made it happen. I never sat down and designed it and did anything with it until now. Check it out. Bernard Farms, 1958. That's when the farm was established. That's when they moved here. And uh, it's got Milton, North Kakalaki. So, these are now in shop, available for purchase. If I could talk for purchase. Um, right now, this is all I've got, but depending on how they do, maybe I'll put something on a hat. Maybe I'll put something on a hoodie. Maybe I'll do some different colors. I don't know. I just wanna see how they did, but now you can buy Bernard Farms merch. Go get you one. Okay, that'll be the only commercial for this vlog. Maybe. Y'all tired of seeing silage footage yet? Sorry, there's gonna be months of this. Somebody asked me how long we feed this, so 
can feed it till it runs out. <laughs> That's not a very nice answer. Um, I want to say, I mean, it usually gets us through, hopefully through um, February, January, February. I don't know. And we're really relying on it this year because we're going to be short on hay, so not really sure what that whole scenario is going to look like. I just got some, I heard some prices today for hay being shipped from down east, some peanut hay, and it's high, <laughs> small bales too, small round bales. So, um, we're going to stretch what we've got as much as we can and supplement with the corn we have and the silage and hope for the best. Oh, farming. Is that good girl? Yes, yes it is. See, we got some mud. Not anything like what we had last year, but if it keeps raining, we will. Um, last year, this, this lot here, it was up to their knees. I hope we don't have to see that again. There's really only two words. Ah! There's really only two words for this day. Rat race. I'm heading out now to do pictures again on somebody else's farm, which is different for me. I usually do them on our farm, but today I've done two sessions on two other farms. So, or I will have done. Anyway, today it's been photos, feeding cows. Feeding cows, photos, feeding cows, photos. Really see my kids today. They've just been inside playing games and not feeling good, so anyway. Uh, so anyway, that's how it goes. At least the sun's shining. It's been a beautiful day. Maybe it'll dry some of that mud up. Okay, photo session two went very amazingly and very quickly. So, um, I'm back. I got home in time to come check cows and hold gates again. <laughs> just pulled out here to see if they're on this. <gasps> oh, look what I just did. Crap. Literally. Ah, oh, I stepped right in that one. <laughs> I stepped right in it. Yes, and I got my good boots on. I forgot to change. Oh, it's a story of my life right there. Man, it's a pretty day, pretty night. Hey, baby. big white thing. The truck. I see you. Saturday night date night. <laughs> About the only date date nights we get on a tractor or in a on a mule. <laughs> here for a while so I'm just gonna share something um, really easy that I do tonight I'm making um, so we we have a freezer full of beef so it's what we eat every night literally every night basically I mean besides those few nights of the year that we have squirrel <laughs> squirrel or maybe fish from the pond pork chops here and there, but anyway, usually it's beef. And one cut of meat that I used to not know what to do with other than fry is cube steak. Now I love some chicken fried steak. It is my favorite, okay? There's children fighting in the background. That's life. Um, but I have also found another way that I really like to use it is in stir fry. Yes, stir fry. It is not hard 
it is good and it's just another way to use cube steak so stay tuned so what I do is I take my cube steak my pieces oh and then I drip blood all over the counter anyway and I cut it up in little bite-sized pieces and then I fry it well yeah I fry it So I normally would put season and salt on that. That's what I normally do. But I have this new steak rub. It's steak rub, but I'm going to use it for this. Tom Steak Rub. This is made and sold by my friend Taryn over at Faith Family and Beef. Um, I told you about her new YouTube channel last time, sometime recently. Anyway, she, uh, her husband came up with a steak rub and they sell it. And this is my first time ever using it. I just got it in the mail. So, it smells good, so I know it's going to be good. Ooh, that might be a little heavy-handed. It's all good. It's all good. All right, now I'm going to put that in some butter that I've let get maybe a little too hot. I'm, uh, I'm cooking it in butter. Sometimes I'll use olive oil. You know what? I'm going to be just crazy tonight. Butter and olive oil. That's what we're doing. And then gonna put it in here. Sounds good, right? Always. The sound of meat frying is never a bad sound, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I'll let that brown, and then I will take it out, and I will use some frozen stir fry veggies, cook them, and then mix it together. Hang tight. Oh yeah, of course I just tasted a piece. It's good, y'all. So in a second, I'll take it out and I will put in my veggies and then we'll put in some seasoning. You know what else we need? Um, Excuse me while I eat. Um, we need rice. I forgot we need rice. We need rice with stir fry. Okay, let me work on that. Okay, I didn't have a full bag. I thought I did. I only had a piece of a bag. Uh, so that's just what we're gonna do tonight. It's all good, right, Bonnie? She's literally grunting right now. She wants food. And I'm just cooking it in the same sauce. Well, it's not really sauce. The juice that came out of the meat all right, we're gonna let that cook down and um, we're gonna find some rice to cook. Okay, so sometimes I cheat and I use a boxed rice mix, which is what this is. It's fried rice, fried rice mix. I ended up adding some bell pepper and onion that I had in the refrigerator. I cut it up, so I feel better about this quantity now. <laughs> and I put a little garlic powder and I'm gonna put a little soy sauce or whatever this stuff is and a little I'm going to try a little oyster sauce because I've heard that that is good we're going to try it and see and a little cilantro and basil so I actually am kind of doing something different tonight guinea pig time well it might not look amazing but it actually tastes really good y'all and this is what we have stir fry so there you go do something different with cube steak well, as far as I'm concerned, it's officially toboggan bibs weather. <laughs> it's in the 30s, but uh, yeah, I feel better with all these layers on. And Elmo's going to feel better after his bottle. Is there a hungry baby in the house? All right, baby. Is that so good? Warm milk. Warm your belly. <laughs> yes, good stuff. Bonnie, you're not looking for something to eat, are you? Hmm? Bonnie. Ew.
that's it and that's all, little boy. Yeah. We'll be back for lunch. <laughs> what do you think about it all, Bonnie? Bonnie? Why won't you look at me, Bonnie? They're waiting on something. Are y'all waiting for something? Really? Huh. We'll see if we can fix that. <laughs> Babies are feeling frisky this morning. Tails up, ringing. <laughs> okay, was there any cows up there? Oh my gosh, they're coming. Look at them. I could watch calves play all day. Alright, I'm gonna start counting. I, I can't count right here in the middle of them. 